Before I begin with this video, this video will have the usual age restriction, you know, 14, 14 years old. Now, a few things to note. Now, I was going to make a video on In Praise of Shadows, if you were keeping up with my, um, you know, community posts. I hope you are, and if you're not, please do also consider liking and subscribing, trying to hit 200 subs by the 9th of November, hopefully trying to hit it sooner. But, um, unfortunately, I can't find the guy's channel. I think he deleted his old channel. Either that or YouTube deleted it, which, honestly, I'm not surprised. This is maybe the most embarrassing controversy of the year. I mean, that, and now, before, now, instead, I'm going to talk about Windigoon today, and I might talk about Chew on Head tomorrow instead of Windigoon. So I'm going to just change it up a bit. Sorry for the disruption. But yeah, uh, Windigoon. Praise of Shadow's main victim. Now, if anyone is aware of the controversy that happened, is he, in Praise of Shadows, aka Zayn, made a whole long video ra mainly ranting about how Wendigoon has associations with some sort of um, far right terrorist group known as the Boogaloo Boys, just because his old name was Boogaloo Boy, but he clarified that he's not associated and that he. Um, use the word because, you know, Che Guevara used it as a word of freedom, don't agree with the stance on Che Guevara, but whatever, everyone's got their right to their own opinion. Um, basically, basically, this whole summary is that he just brought up some outlandish sherbet about Windigoon, the main parts of which are that he's not worthy of being taken seriously of because he's like a witch, rich white lad. Uh, living in deep Appalachia with and he said something about I don't know deep Appalachia being racist Which is entirely false. It's like saying all white people in South Africa are racist you, you, I've never luckily never dealt with the stereotype, but my sister is an unfortunate victim anyhow I think Wendigoon also got targeted by Impressive Shadows mainly because like me he talked about being Christian and being uh, about his Christian beliefs and honestly, he responded very maturely to this, basically saying sorry that if he provoked in praise of shadows, which he did nothing wrong, like honestly. But he does say he forgives in praise of shadows, which is definitely the most Christian thing someone can do, like forgive someone for their actions. But anyway, without further ado, we're gonna go take a look at the lad's channel. He is a relatively big YouTuber at 3.78 million subscribers and uh, 153 videos. Oh, sorry, I, I, I just need to talk about the guy's channel logo. I like the channel logo. Uh, the Deer Skull. The Deer Skull with the um, macro binoculars. That's um, very interesting. Not judging, just saying it's interesting. So he says in his bio, so he says in his bio, good vibes and okay content. Opens and sponsorships, email stuff, and second channel, he's got a second channel. We're not going to be checking that out. I'm going to check out his main channel. I might check out his second channel if I have the time, but he has uh, links to it and his second channel. He's been here since 2019 and has amassed over 400 million views, which is very impressive of a YouTuber who's just started fairly recently, like, I don't know, five years, five, six years ago? So, the, his most recent video is from three days ago, and it's got 1.2 million views. One thing that you need to note about this controversy is this gave Wendigoon a lot of clout, which basically meant he was exposed to more people. It's kind of like how, how Saucy and Honey got in shown to the whole world for their controversy and they gained a lot of subscribers. I think that's basically what's been happening to Wendigoon as a result. But yeah, 1.2 million views on his most recent, then after that 1.4, 1.7, 1.8, 1.1 1 million, 1.3 million, 1.1 million, 3 million. His content is not on my cup of tea. It, it's a bit longer than I would like. Also, I don't like scary stuff as much. His most popular video has gotten like 16 million views. Uh, let's see what is all of his videos views. 227,000 views. That's his oldest video. But you know, old videos sometimes have like the least views. He does have a playlist on his main channel. And he's got a community which he posted on three weeks ago. And it's just... Looks like he posted about food. Very relatable. 
My one friend would definitely agree that it's very relatable. I'm gonna see if I can track down his second channel while we're here. Uh, here is his second channel, Wender Gang. And the same logo, except with a different background. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Love it. Love seeing it. Uh, then the description. My second channel for Wendagoon. Hope you enjoy. And there's also a lot of other stuff. His main channel links and everything else. His second channel was established in 2021. And it's gotten over 16 million views. Not as big as the first, but still very impressive nonetheless. His most recent video was about a month ago, however the views on his main second channel is like much lower considerably, like 347,000 views, 365,000 views, 235, 220, you know. His short video, he only posted one, it's got 156,000 views. I think he mostly does streaming here, so yeah. Then he's also got a playlist here and a community that he posted on three months ago. Now, honestly, that's all I have to say about Windagoon. Honestly, of all the controversies that's been going on, this is not the biggest. I mean, the Chris Tyson situation is incredibly big right now. However, this is maybe the most dumbest controversy I have ever seen as a commentary YouTuber and just generally as a, as a person in general. Like, why? That's Zayn made one of the most botched exposés in history. If you want a bigger, better in-depth than I can give, then I'm gonna leave you a link to Internet Anarchist's video. It's coming, coming up, coming train on this channel, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, um, please like, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 200 subs, by the way. Please leave a comment. Have a nice day. Um, again, tomorrow's video is gonna be on shoe on head. So yeah, peace.